Uh, no, it's just a one quarter of it. It's this little guy. Here. And that's all wireless, so it's going to this thing and it's being data packaged and all that stuff. But the cool thing is, then we have controls on the mic, and there's some that you can't see. Um, and we can use them to do whatever we want. Um, we have it hooked up to a Muse receptor, so we can do um, we can do looping. We can do looping. We can do looping. We can do looping. It's all it'll take for that to get hold. <laughs> um, but we so right now we have it set up for for three tracks of looping, uh, so you can record and overdub and all that sort of standard stuff that I'm sure you guys are really familiar with. Um, and then we also have a uh, an effect. <laughs> With some of the other controls that we have in the mic, like the uh, yeah. kind of stuff, that's a little much fun. Which is cool, uh, but we can also pan our, I'm not sure if this is working because I can't hear, but we can do panning left to right so I can have a hidden conversation with this side of the room. You guys want to what's going on. <laughs> Um, but so this isn't a product, we're just, as I said, professional nerds, so we wanted to come and like uh, talk about what we were doing because we built it and we made it work with all the hardware and stuff, but we want to make it as useful as possible for the people who are going to be using it, which is you guys. So we want to talk to whoever thinks that they might uh, want to use this thing in the future so we can know like what you might want the buttons to do or that sort of stuff because uh, you're in the trenches, you know, so we need to know what life's like in the trenches. Um, so, we're going to, yes, question in the back. Feedback. Feedback. Kind of feedback. Um, like to make it feedback. Uh, so when I'm doing the live stuff, so when I'm doing the live stuff, I can control the volume of what's going on in the background, and then if I overdub something on top of it, say on to another track, so I'm doing another track, so I'm doing another track, so I'm doing another track, I have some amount of control, but like, that's all arbitrarily defined, you know, we just picked that because we thought it was kind of interesting. Um, so feedback, good call. Anybody uh, else questions? Great. So we're going to try something crazy. Uh, I met Rick uh, through email yeah. within the last 48 hours. Yeah. And um, he was nice enough to give us a spot and let us come you know, show you this thing. Uh, he was also nice enough because the guy who built it and usually does these sort of demonstrations is playing a gig up in San Francisco. Um, I am not much of a looper, so I'm going to spare you that. Uh, but we're going to have him try it, and we're hoping that uh, it's simple and straightforward enough that uh, he can tell me to do what he does. So I'm just going to give it to him, and we're going to see what happens. And, and I, I do it. Check. I do have to say that uh, he's not a looper yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I've offered him a newbie slot on the festival next year if he wants to take one. And uh, I've been driving back and forth crazy trying to get monitors that are not working and stuff tonight, and, and listening to his uh, production demo, and it's really nice, really, really good good work. So I hope you do consider doing something at the festival next year, maybe with this or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Cool. Also, if anybody wants one for the low price of zero dollars, <laughs> cool. right. Thanks, man. All right. So I don't really know how to use this. Feedback. <laughs> that, is that what you wanted in, into the product? Oh, I, yeah. I so. Okay, so.
Oh, <laughs> 